What's up guys, welcome back to Gamer Goggles NCU, or if you're coming from Twitter, Gaming with Grayson, my name is Grayson, as always, thank you so much for your time, and stopping by my nerdy little channel here to check out what I'm playing today, and continuing on with some good games, we are trying out one that was a recommendation I'd never played before, developed by Sunsoft, it's Arrow the Acrobat for SNES, also on the Genesis, uh, also has a sequel, uh, but we're trying out the first one here. This game is very, very challenging. Very, very challenging. But, it's one of the games that if you can learn the ins and outs and time it right, and you really pick up on it, that you'll have an absolute blast playing. And I highly recommend this one if you're a collector or if you're just wanting to play some good retro games. No matter what platform you're on, pick it up. It's probably going to run about 10 15 bucks. I found a copy from GameStop for $8, so not bad, and definitely worth the asking price if you can stick with it. You're going to have to have some patience with this one. Don't give up on it, because you will die often learning how to play this game. Uh, each stage is broke up into three parts. This is Stage 1, Act 1. And uh, we'll show you here the goal of this stage is to take care of these star platforms. we got seven of them. You just jump on them one, two, three times, and there you go. You're just clearing them out. Now, why this is challenging is because you can't jump on your enemies. You have to do a spin maneuver by jumping up, pressing the jump button again, and you can spin. It's the only way to kill them. If you just jump on them, you die. You don't die instantly, but you, get, you take damage. And it don't take many hits to die at all. There's little room for error in this one. And we got that guy's right. We got a checkpoint system here. And there's a ton of little extra areas that don't pertain to the main objective. They just have extra stuff here to find. Oh, and we died right there. You can't land on the spikes at all. Instant death. We don't have to go through here. I'm just trying to get a power up. Because I'm OCD about it. Oh! Oh, we died, so we're going to skip this. We're just going to go on to show you Act 1 here. So you don't see me fail a billion times. And embarrass myself any more than I have to. But yet again, have some patience. A lot of patience. You're going to die in this game. It's okay to be frustrated. It just takes a while to learn everything. And you can move this cannon here. We're going to find some more star platforms up here clear out one two three got it one there we go let's push it back because we forgot two on the left one two done and we're done with that now we just gotta go down I didn't mean to do that there we go Oh, we hit the fire. Ah, didn't mean to do that. You have to time that just right. You get extra points. If you could go through the hoops, which I obviously failed miserably. These guys will kill you too a lot easily. And yet again, you can't land on them. Oh, see, we got him finally. Almost lost our life there. Well, this guy to come back. We got him. And we've got our last star platform here to land on. One, two, three. We're done. If we can just make it to the end without dying, which, we, as you can see by any of the Gamer Goggle videos, it's easier said than done for my pathetic skill set. But there's the end of stage one, act one. Each stage, yet again, is three parts. That's just act one. Stage one, we're going to move on to act two. And you're about to see me die even more. Yay me. But the pros about this game, it's a lot of fun and clever. The level design's clever. You can see the visuals here are really good. It's colorful. It's bright. Your character has a lot of detail to him. He kind of looks like Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog almost, but different, obviously. He's got hair. The ears are pointier and not laid back like Knuckles. 
And he's got the, the cape or the wings there. I'm not sure if that's wings or a cape. Either way, he's a cool looking little character. And it's just it's a really rewarding game if you take time to get the hang of it. Try to get all our power ups here. We're going to fly back up the top because we skipped one. Because we are cheap bastards. <laughs> Who's got time for power ups? Ah. Uh. See if we can time that one right and we got it. Alright. Now we're cooking. And it looks like we missed some up there, so we're going to go all the way back up the top. See if we can do it. Climb down some ladders. We've already got a checkpoint, so that's good. Something horrible happens to us. Oh, oh my goodness. Big character. I don't know if I can kill him. There we go. Alright. Three stars. That's another thing. Every level is so well laid out. There's tons of stuff to find. It takes multiple times of playing through to find it. To realize where all these little secrets are. Now you can run through and just go straight to the end, I'm sure. If you'd like to. Oh, we're back at the start here, I think. No, we're not. Just another secret little area. Oh! Oh, wow! Oh, shot herself straight to death. That was great. Diesel Hush. My dog says this game sucks. He just has to chime in at the greatest times. I love it when my dog decides to help out on my videos. Here we go, guys. We got it going. We got a bunch of power-ups. We've already died. So we're doing great so far. Great start. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, this is going to be really hard. And it's over. Alright, guys. That'll be it. I'm not going to drag you on to make you watch me die and suck this up. I know this game looks ridiculous at times, but it's it's well worth the asking price. If you take your time, you'll have a lot of fun with it. I don't know about the sequel. We'll check that out in the next video or one of the most one of the upcoming videos sometime today. But as for number one, pick it up no matter what platform you're on. Where Genesis SNES emulation, go out and grab it, and uh, let me know what you think about it. If you guys have already played it, if there's fans, holler at me. Let you know why you like the game or what you're playing don't matter if it's this game or any others. I just like to talk about video games. A.K.A. That's why my name is Gamer Goggles. I'm a nerd. I'm a gamer. I like to talk about it. So uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for your time, guys. Peace out.